Shalom, 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 shalom. Before I get started, as always, I would love to say, call all you have it. By Hashem, you have a shape. By Hashem, we call Kurodash. The more honest to the elders and the apostles, a great millstone. And shalom to both for that shalom. All right, the heavenly father name is Yahweh, whom the world equally calls God. Yahweh means he exists, he is that he is. His eyes is 10,000 times brighter than the sun, technically infinite. And the Heavenly Father is also, the Heavenly Father Yahweh is also the former of all things because without the Heavenly Father Yahweh, nothing else will exist, point blank, period. And the Heavenly Father's Son named Hunu World, it be called Jesus Christ. That's not his real name, that's idol worship. That's idol worship to call upon Jesus Christ. You might as well worship a golden calf, but anyway, the Heavenly Father's Son name is Yahawashai. Yahawashai means he is the savior or he is the deliverer. Same exact thing. And Yahawashai is coming back to save and deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. Now the question is, who are the Hebrew Israelites? Sons of God, Prince of Power, Yahshua Allah. They are the uh, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, and you Israelite foreigners that look just like the other nations because you are according to the seed of your father whenever you read the book of Numbers chapter 1. All right, so you can be a so-called black, right? Japanese, they don't matter how you look. All right? The Lord look in the inward part, the inward man. You know what I'm saying? That's talking about the person. You know what I'm saying? In the spirit. See, man look at, at the outward. The Lord look in the inward. That's why you have to be a spiritual-minded person to all to understand this. This is Israelite because a perfect precept for that is what this, uh, you know, a the spirit bell witness whether we is of the Lord or not. But anyway, what I want to do is start off in this and I see where it lead me to. But yeah, you know my uh before I read this Obadiah, you know and I'm saying chapter one verse seventeen, then you know my lunch break camp is at twelve o'clock, but I decided to come out. Right now it's eight twenty-three AM. Right now it's eight twenty-three because I see the rain coming on the radar, so Hey, we gonna be wise and go out early instead of coming out at the usual time at 12 o'clock on my lunch break. So we gonna leave, you know what I'm saying, the business, come out early, and then we gonna do the work early, all right? So now, what I'm gonna do is, let's, let's, let's uh, read Obadiah chapter one, verse 17. It says, but upon Mount Zion, shall be deliverance it ain't talking about the whole world it's talking about mount zion hold on y'all i'm getting hot already it's talking about mount zion see the deliverance is only for the children of israel all right it's not for everybody it's only for the children of israel because what also another scripture scripture speak about what will be saved from our enemies the question is who is our enemies the so-called white man so-called uh, East Indian, which is Elam, etc., etc. But you're gonna have all people that look like every nation under heaven, all right? So deliverance in this truth, this gospel, the word gospel means what? Good news. The word church means to call out. God damn, I can't take this out. The word church means to call out. And um, gospel means good news. Damn. Ooh, I'm getting hot already. No, hey man, when you start reading the Bible, you know that truth come out. Man, you on fire, bro. That's why you know a perfect precept for that would be what? Um, the Lord would make these words and arm out like fire, and these people would. Feel me? Will you feel the, the Lord? You know what I'm saying? So, me, let me get right back into it. Fix this garment up a little bit. Have it going up. But anyway, going right back, let's, let's uh, get right back into it. Back in the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 17, it says, But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. Now that destroys what these Christianities people speak about, but we're going to get into that later. Lord willing, who knows? And there shall be holiness. For the first time, it's going to be holiness. The word holy means to be separated. Separated from what? That's why the Bible says the perfect precept will be, I, um, um, I call you out the world. Or I separate you from the world. Basically, translating that scripture, 
You know what I'm saying? Because I separate you from everybody else. So you 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 not gonna act like everybody else. You're gonna act different from everybody. Alright? It says because what everybody else is what we could just like Lot was called out the world. Jeremiah was called out the world. Alright? Uh, uh Noah, he was definitely called out the world. You know what I'm saying? All the prophets, all the elect, Elijah was called out the world. He was separated, he was made holy to be separated from everybody else. He was called out the world. Same thing with us, same thing with you. That's paying attention and what? Taking this truth serious. You was what? Called out the world. That's what I'm saying. It says, um, back in the book of Obadiah, chapter, chapter 1, verse 17, and there shall be holiness in the house of Jacob, the house of Jacob is who? Remember, Jacob's name got changed to Israel. How do you say Israel? In ancient Hebrew, not this fake ass Yiddish shit. Now that fake, whatever the hell they, that ain't that, that that's not real Hebrew. How do you say Israel in Hebrew? Yashar Allah. Yah means he. Alright? Yashar Allah. Alright? He is what? Prince of Power. Yah Prince Power. Yah Prince Power. He is a Prince of God. He is a Son of God. Yah Shar Allah. Allah is what? What do Allah means? God or the power. He Prince Power. Alright? He is the Son of God. Israel in Hebrew is He is the Son of God. Alright? Y'all 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 see what I'm saying? So anyway, let me oh what time it is. Yeah. Like I say, I see the rain coming though, so we're gonna play it safe. And again, right now it's 8:28 in the morning. So, but anyway, it says, uh, back in the book of Obadiah, chapter um, one, verse 17, it says, "In the house of Jacob, which the house of Israel, which is us, we are the sons of God." Right? It says, "In the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions, which are supposed to be belong to us." When you read in the book of On Ezra, all right, know what I'm saying the world was made for our sakes, but these heathens begun to be lords over us. How? If the world was made, if the world was made for our sakes, why? Because this is punishment. All you have to do is read the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. That whole scripture, I mean that whole chapter. Read the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. The whole nine, everything in that, from number one, from uh, verse one all the way to verse sixty-eight. Read all that the whole nine. All right, the world was made for our sakes. So what these heathens got is ours. All the gold, as a matter of fact, prime example, the land of Haiti. They got uh, a lot of gold. And uh, what's that other thing called? I did a video on my other channel, which that shit got deleted by uh, you know who? Um, it's what's that other? I'm about to do a second video in the in the near future, Lord willing. Now I'm saying because we are in the time of what the famine of the world of the famine of giving the world is vastly approaching. We coming to that time, so that's why I have to say, Lord willing, I do. Uh, another video about the resources of that particular part of the island on, of Haiti. How do we that part? They have gold and they have something else. I forgot what it's called, but they rank number two in the world of that particular resources of that particular resource that's valuable to the whole entire world. But again, the people is poor that that sink in. So that's a lesson for another day, Lord. We're not going to that. But it's not of my will, it's of the Lord's will. Alright? But let me read this part again so I keep it fresh in your mind. We have to keep the scripture fresh in your mind while I go into it. It says, In the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions, which is really our possession. We're going to possess them. We are the kings. Alright? We are the gods. That's why the scripture says that what ye are gods, but what ye is going to die like men. We are the gods of the earth. But what? We die like men. Mortal man. 
old Jacob thy worm. That's another precept. Know what I'm saying? So that there two precepts right there. Know what I'm saying? But guess what? We have to, hey, matter of fact, yeah, Howard Shai, he had to die like man. And he is the ultimate saint. He, he, is, he is the ultimate saint. He's the ultimate God in Hebrew, which means Allah. He's the ultimate God that walked the earth, that died like man. That's why the Lord said that what the servant is not greater than his master. Look what the master had to go through. Now think about what you have to go through in a perfect precept for that will be precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Look what the Heavenly Father's Son, his only begotten Son, the, the very first creation, yeah, how much I had to go through. But now, what about what you have to go through? Let that sink in. But anyway, going right back, the things that the heathens possess, alright, belong to us anyway. They belong to us. You supposed to be our slaves. See, right now we serve you. But in the kingdom of heaven, you're going to serve us. All right? And see, your form of paying taxes won't be no damn paper. See, now we pay taxes with paper, and coins. And... No, 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 no. Yo, the way you're going to be paying taxes is your life. Let me say that again because, you know, it's a lot of traffic. The way you're going to be paying traffic in the, I mean, I said traffic. The way you're going to be paying taxes in the kingdom of heaven is going to be your life. See, right now, we pay taxes with, you know, um, numbers, all right? Um, dollars, paper, coins. No, the way you're going to be paying taxes in the kingdom of heaven is going to be your life. Your children. You're going to have children. Oh, pay that tax. Um, mate, yeah, your, your son, your daughter is going to be a slave. That's how you're going to be paying tax because the Bible speaks about um, do double unto them. Chiefly talking about Esau. I talk about all you other nations, man. I'm reading it right now. But chiefly Esau eat them. Chiefly Esau eat them. Chiefly Esau eat them. But that's talking about all you other damn nations. Man, I just not, man, let me read it again. You got me mad and I'm hot. Obadiah chapter, chapter 1 verse 17 But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance Deliverance is only for us It ain't for all y'all, it's only for us And there, see that's why you other nations Is trying y'all I seen a video this morning Of a fucking heathen it Looks to be a Moabite Ammonite Talking about some guy You know, you know, uh, you know we, we, we can pick God That's a motherfucking lie You can't pick God And my question is What God did you talking about? A false God? I believe so. Talking about some of you pick God. First of all, the Lord is only dealing with one third of his own people. You know he ain't dealing with you damn heathens. Talking about some of you pick God. You know what God? False God? You better beat that bitch with the bat. Alright. Anyway, it says, But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness. Which means you're going to be separated from the world. When you worship Jesus Christ, that don't separate you from the world. That makes you even more a part of the world. To see the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh, Shai, pull us from the world. That's why people look at us different. They can't understand it. They can't grasp it. Like, I don't understand these people because we're different from the world. All right? But anyway, let me get this. I don't know the point. It says, in the house of Jacob. Starting with Yahweh Shai. Then you course you got King David. Alright. It says in the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions which belong which is supposed to be our possessions, man. That's ours. Not days. It's ours. Alright? And that's exactly what's gonna go down. What time it is? And and that's exactly what's gonna go down. Cause you belong to us. All you heathens belong to us. You're going to be our slaves. You're you going to lick up the dust that we walk on. I'm talking about. If we walk on that. And you're going to look that up. That ain't talking about y'all see these Israelites got that, you know, that, that, that oh, got these heathens kissing their boot, kissing their shoes. That ain't talking about that. Because in the kingdom of heaven, we're not going to let a filthy heathen put their mouth on our foot. That's disgusting. See, in the kingdom of heaven, all Israelites, 
is going to gain self-respect. See, right now, Israelites don't have self-respect because they ha they are full of the fury of the Lord. The fury, being full of the fury of the Lord means, well, let me make it easier for you. The fury of the Lord is talking about the curses. So when the scriptures speak about our people is full of the fury of the Lord, that's talking about the curses when you read in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. All right? We won't, our people, not now one of us will have a single curse on them. The Lord said he's going to take the curses off our people and put it on other nations. All the 17 other nations. He's going to have them, all them curses put on them. All right? Y'all have to understand that. You get it? But what I want to do, you know what? We're going to get right back into how do we, we going to possess the other nations. We're going to get right back into that. But let me uh, go up. Hold on, let me see. What I want to do is I want to go up. Let me read verse. Uh, let's read verse Obadiah chapter 10. I mean, Obadiah chapter 1 verse 10. It says, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob just talking about Esau now I'm saying his violence against Jacob the millions of Israelites that he slaughtered slave plantation all that you already know about that right for thy violence against thy brother Jacob shame shall cover thee that shame is what regretful now I'm saying uh, you have to drink of that cup double the cup of what? The cup of judgment. We had a drink of that cup of judgment. You got to drink of that cup of judgment, but double. And the way you forward the affliction, we gonna forward. I said flora. We gonna forward the affliction in a righteous sense because we gonna be following the law. It's gonna. It's 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 not gonna be a such thing as one of Hebrew Israelites breaking the law. That's gonna be a mission impossible. That's not gonna exist. Where I'm at. Yeah, verse 10. Obadiah chapter 1, verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. You's gonna be cut off forever for the shit you done fucking did. Goddamn heathen. Alright? Especially you, Esau. Because we're gonna possess your ass. As a matter of fact, let me get this scripture. Hold on. You have to pay that price. Pay it. Don't worry about the Lord letting you disrespect, disrespect. But then when that time comes, you have to pay that tab. And guess what you're going to do? Pay that tab. And you're going to pay it. Hold on. All right. Uh, now, let me read this. Revelation chapter 18 verse 24 it says and in her represents Esau Edom alright it says and, and, and it says and in her was found the blood of the prophets and of the saints talking about the Israelites and of all that were slain upon the earth that blood is on your hand you have to pay for that you have, you have to pay for all that Matter of fact, let me get this preset real quick. Hold on, hold on. Let me get this preset real quick. You got to pay for all that, Esau Edom. That's right. Every last bit of it. Hold on, let me get this preset. Now, while I get this preset, I'm going to make sure I hold this tab up. Because I'm, 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 I'm going to read Revelation 18 again. Then we're going to read Blood Shall Not Pollute the Land. Hold on. So we got it right here. So this right here, so let's let's read what I just read, then we're gonna read the precept. Alright, so this Revelation chapter 18, verse 24. And in her was found the blood of the prophets. You know who the prophets is. And in of the saints, and the saints are the Hebrew Israelites, and of all that were slain upon the earth, all the righteous, all the righteous that were slain upon the earth. The disrespect, the unrighteous decrees represents what the laws. Right? The laws that 
one example, this one example out of many. The child support. That's it. I ain't got it. I ain't got to go into detail. You already know what I was gonna say before I say it. So let me get this precept. The book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33, it says, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, but Esau pollute the land everywhere. That's why the scripture said that he's the border of wickedness. He pollute the land everywhere he go. He's the he's the border of, wherever Esau go, he pollute the land. Matter of fact, hold on, let me show y'all something. Uh, this is what Esau um, breathes. Alright? Uh, this is what he breathes. Let's see. Ooh, let me get this because I screenshot it. Uh, let me show y'all on screen. Like I said, it's, right now it's 842. Uh, I should have. There we go. There we go. Put this bitch on the screen. Okay, there we go. This is what Esau breathes. Y'all see that? That what he breathes. The bitch is like this. All right. And y'all looking for a modern. Anyway, it says uh, a Florida woman has found herself. And this information came out. My fault. This information came out. Uh. But let me read it. It says Jessica Wood was, you know, my phone cracked. What did I say? There we go. It says Jessica Wood, J Jessica Woods was arrested and charged with child neglect, child abuse, and abandonment on March 7, 2024. That's, so that's this month, a few days ago. All right. But let me get straight, straight to the point. You know, this happened in Florida. All right. It says, a Florida woman has found herself behind bars after she tried to sell her 18-month-old daughter for $500. This bitch tried to sell her 18-month-old daughter for $500. All right? That's why the Bible goes into staring now. Stare not at the beauty of a woman. See, a, a lot of you brothers will wipe this up. A lot of you Negroes, you so-called Hispanics, uh, and you Native American Indians, and you Israelite foreigners that look like the nation. See, y'all will wipe this up. See, y'all, y'all go affinity and beyond. All right, buzz like year for this for this funky hole. That's why the Bible tells you to think up here and stop thinking down there. Be a high level thinker. Don't think with your lower head. And the Bible goes to that. But y'all don't listen. Why? Because you have been restaurantized. You have been Babylonized. Uh, all right? You have been sodomized in, in the brain. And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for that, but it's the truth. That means repent. Don't hate the messenger. I'm just a messenger. You have been sodomized. Maybe I need to start. Maybe I need to start saying that more. You have been sodomized. Uh, and, 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 but this is a lesson for another day. You have run out of your wits for women, which means you lost your goddamn mind for a bitch. Who would? We gonna hold that thought because um, what time it is? Yeah, so we, we gonna hold that thought because I'm gonna get right back on how the way are people gonna possess all this. And no, but anyway, man, let me finish reading this, man. It says, but then left her. We have to start from the top. A Florida woman, a Florida woman has has found herself behind bars after she tried to sell her 18-month-old daughter for five hundred dollars. The same, maybe because she wasn't able to get child support. I don't know. So she gonna get some type of money, whatever the case may be. Y'all know you can't trust these bitches. Um, it says, but then left her behind when nobody will buy her, so nobody will buy her. She wanted some money off her own daughter, her own child. It said, hey, that it, that it. So we're going to delete this. I don't need this no more. I was going to do a separate lesson on that, but we ain't got to do that, right? We ain't got to do that. All right? So we're not going to go into how the way you, you men worshiping, and, and you love to talk about you the prize, but you treat Women like they the prize. 
But let me teach you something. There's a difference between, in the Bible teach you, there's a difference between a woman and a bitch. Women don't do that shit. Bitches do that. And you men need to stop simping and stop doing that shit. But that's less for another day. Let's not get into that. Because I want to leave before a certain time. You know, we got to be wise. Because I am not over-righteous. The Bible speaks about being over righteous. Why should it thou destroy thyself? Uh, let me stop. Let's stop. What I wanted to do is let me get this. Let me get right back to my other tab. <sighs> On the book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33. It says, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. And that's what Esau did. I just not show you. He promote bitches like that. Esau do not promote women. The word woman means servant. Serve who? The man. This is the order. This is the righteous order. Yahweh. Yahweh Shai. Men, woman, children. It's just that simple. Esau is upside down. God is last. No, 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 no. He first. Come on, man. Right. See, that maybe about to go into something else, man. How do we, the Lord can crush y'all, man? But, we, we, hey, hey, the Lord can get on you niggas next, man. All right? Now, I'm talking about my next lesson, the way it could be about. I don't know. Like I said, the Lord controls all things. And he controls this lesson as well. So, back in the book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33, it says, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. For blood, it defiled the land. Mm -hmm. And Esau loved blood. And guess what? Blood is going to pursue him. That's a perfect precept. It says, uh, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. For blood, it defiled the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So wait a minute. In order for a righteous payback, all the blood you done shed millions of Hebrew Israelites, you know, murder, slaughter. Your blood got, got to be shed as well. The big payback is coming when your Hawashite come back. All right? The big payback is going to come when your Hawashite come back. All right? It's like you shed all that blood all around the world. Your blood is going to be shed all around the world. All right, it's gonna be so much blood whenever you have a shite come back. The Bible speaks metaphorically about so much blood, he gonna stain all his garment. That's how much blood shit is gonna be. But let me get right back into this right quick. Hold on, let's let's uh, get right back into this. Let's get right back into Obadiah and let me read. We're gonna read one more, then I'm gonna go ahead and go. You know, gotta play it safe just in case it rain. And who knows, I might end up coming right back out here. If the rain move over. So if the rain move over, I might. And mine's real well come out for a part two. Uh, let me get right back to my other tab. So this is my other tab. Let me read verse... Uh, I, that was verse 10. Let me drop down. Let me read verse... Verse 15. This is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 15. It says, For the day of Yahweh is near... Upon all the heathens, all the heathens. Excuse me. The word. Uh, uh, let me read this again. It says, "For the day of Yahweh, sending His Son Yahweh Shai to destroy all." Hey, the second coming of Yahweh Shai is near upon all the heathens. So all, not just Esau, but all you fucking heathens, because you possesses things that belong to us. Especially you, Esau. All the gold, the silver, all this. Oh, yeah, we coming for you. It wasn't the own. It hey, what Booker T had told how Hogan, we gonna get you, nigga. <laughs> but anyway, it says, As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Exactly, but double. It's gonna be done unto you, but double. It says, uh, Thou reward shall return upon thine own head. So what you prescribe me, 
it's gonna be prescribed to you. I'm gonna say that again. Hey, hey man, I'm about to read that scripture again. I'm about to read, bring that scripture out again, right? It says, "Will you?" What I said, uh, "Will you prescribe to my nation? Prescribe to me? It's gonna be prescribed to you. You prescribe medicine. What medicine have side effects?" Anyway, and I still can't get over this asthma medicine when the side effects is loss of breath. I still can't get over that shit. But anyway, man, let me go ahead and on haul ass, man. Um, hopefully this Friday, March the 15th, early camp with no edifying. And if it's no, if, if things look good, whatever my schedule is, hey, I might hey, I come out again. But I would love to end off by saying, Call out your Hapa, by Shem, I'm Shank, by Shem, recall, for a dodge. The one to the other, the apostles of great millstone, amen. And shout out, to the whole full of Shout out, Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Shout out,